What is SQL? SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It's a language used to interact with databases. You can create and manage databases, create and modify tables, and perform operations like retrieving, updating, and deleting data. SQL is standardized by the American National Standards Institute, ANSI. For example, with SQL, you can execute queries to fetch data, insert records into a table, update existing records, create new databases and tables, and delete tables when they are no longer needed. What is a database? A database is a structured way to store data on a computer. It organizes data in an accessible and manageable manner. It consists of schemas, tables, queries, views, and more. Databases make it easy to store, retrieve, and manipulate data. A database management system, DBMS, allows users to interact with the database efficiently. Does SQL support programming language features? SQL is a language used for database management, but it doesn't support programming features like loops or conditional statements. It's not a programming language, it's a command language. SQL has commands for querying, updating, and deleting data, but it doesn't have constructs like for loops or if, else statements found in programming languages. SQL focuses on manipulating data in databases. What is Data Definition Language, DDL? Data Definition Language, DDL, includes commands used to define the database structure or schema. DDL commands include create, drop, and ALTER. These commands help in creating new databases, tables, or altering existing database structures. What is Data Manipulation Language, DML? Data Manipulation Language, DML, is used to access and manipulate data in a database. DML commands include insert, delete, select and UPDATE. These commands allow you to insert new data, delete existing data, retrieve data, and update data within a database. What is a view in SQL? A view in SQL is a virtual table that represents the result of a select query. Views have rows and columns just like real tables but do not store data physically. Instead, they display data stored in other tables. You can create a view by selecting specific fields from one or more tables. The create view statement is used for this purpose. What is a foreign key? A foreign key is a field in a table that uniquely identifies a row in another table. This creates a relationship between the two tables. For instance, in the orders table, the C underscore ID field is a foreign key that references the C underscore ID primary key in the customers table, linking each order to a specific customer. What are tables and fields in a database? In a database, a table is a collection of rows and columns. Rows are individual records and columns are fields. For example, in an MS SQL server, tables are designated within the database and schema names. Each row in the table represents a record, and each column represents a field of that record. What is a primary key? A primary key is a unique identifier for each record in a table. It ensures that no duplicate records exist, and each record can be uniquely identified. There can be only one primary key in a table, and it is chosen from the candidate keys. Can you give examples related to these concepts? Sure. Let's use the customers and orders tables. Here, C underscore ID in orders is a foreign key that links to C underscore ID in customers. This relationship ensures that each order is associated with a valid customer. The O underscore ID in orders and C underscore ID in customers are primary keys, ensuring unique identification of records in their respective tables. What is a default constraint? The default constraint in SQL is used to provide a default value for a column. This value is automatically added to new records if no other value is specified for that column. For instance, if you set a default value of zero for a column, any new row added to the table without a value for that column will have zero as its value. What is normalization? Normalization is the process of organizing data in a database to minimize redundancy and improve data integrity. It involves decomposing a table into smaller tables and defining relationships between them to achieve these goals. Normalization helps in reducing data anomalies like insertion, deletion, and update anomalies. What is denormalization? Denormalization is a technique used to optimize database performance by adding redundant data to tables. This can reduce the need for complex joins and improve query performance. It's important to note that denormalization is typically applied after normalization has been done. What is a query? A query in SQL is a request to retrieve data from a database. Queries can be simple or complex, 
and they must be optimized to ensure efficient use of database resources. Poorly written queries can slow down the database and affect performance for all users. What is a subquery? A subquery is a query nested inside another SQL query. It is often used in the WHERE clause to filter results based on the results of another query. What are the different operators available in SQL? SQL has three main types of operators, arithmetic operators, plus, percent logical operators, and OR not comparison operators, equals, equals greater than, less than greater than equals, less than equals what is a constraint? Constraints in SQL are rules applied to table columns to enforce data integrity. Common constraints include primary key, foreign key, unique, not null, and CHECK. What is data integrity? Data integrity ensures that data in a database is accurate and consistent. This is achieved through constraints and rules that validate data entry and maintain accuracy over time. Example, using a unique constraint to prevent duplicate entries, what is auto increment? Auto increment is a feature in SQL that automatically generates a unique number for a primary key field whenever a new record is inserted. This is useful for creating unique identifiers without manual input. What is MySQL collation? A MySQL collation is a set of rules used to compare characters in a particular character set. Each character set can have multiple collations, but only one default collation. Collations determine how string comparison and sorting are done. What are user-defined functions? User-defined functions, UDFs, in SQL are custom functions that we create to extend the functionality of SQL beyond what is provided by built-in functions. These can be written in languages like Place SQL or Java. UDFs can be used in various parts of SQL queries, such as the select list, where clause, and more. For example, UDFs can be used in the select list of select statements, the condition of the where clause connect by, order by, start with, and group by clauses, the values clause of the insert statement, the set clause of the update statement, what are the different types of user-defined functions? There are several types of user-defined functions in SQL, each serving a different purpose. Scalar user-defined function. This type returns a single scalar value, such as an integer or a string. These functions can accept zero or more parameters and return a single value. For instance, you might create a function to calculate the age based on a birth date. Example, inline table value user defined function. This type returns a table and is similar to a view but with parameters. It's useful when you need a parameterized, read only view of the data. Example, multi statement table value user defined function. This type also returns a table but allows for multiple SQL statements to construct the table. It's more flexible than inline table functions, but requires defining the structure of the return table. Example, what is a stored procedure? A stored procedure is a set of SQL statements that can be executed as a single unit. Stored procedures can accept parameters, perform complex operations, and return results. They are used to encapsulate logic that can be reused and shared across multiple applications or queries. Example, what are aggregate and scalar functions? SQL has built-in functions categorized into aggregate and scalar functions, aggregate functions. These functions perform operations on a set of values and return a single result. Examples include, sum, calculates the total sum of a numeric column. AVG, calculates the average value of a numeric column. Count, counts the number of rows. Max, finds the maximum value in a column. Min, finds the minimum value in a column. Example, scalar functions. These functions perform operations based on input values and return a single value. Examples include len, returns the length of a string. Upper, converts a string to uppercase. Lower, converts a string to lowercase. GetDate, returns the current date and time. Abs, returns the absolute value of a number. Example, 